And tonight, the first watches are up in Florida, and another new track is in on Tropical Storm Ian, which will probably get a new name by the time you wake up in the morning. Here's first alert meteorologist Kate Wenzel to break it all down. Kate? Yeah, John, this is one to watch, and we've been watching it now for several days. It's somewhat behaving, but uh, those models just don't want to get that tight consistency at day four and five that we so wish they would. But in the meantime, we're just monitoring this, and the East Coast still looks a lot better than Florida's West Coast. So let's go ahead and talk about the satellite presentation. It had a hard time getting its act together throughout the afternoon, but now it's looking a little more organized. More deep convection is wrapping around the center of circulation. It's now moving to the northwest. It's moving into some of the warmest ocean waters of the entire world. So uh, we're talking about sea surface temperatures, upper 80s to low 90s, and that is going to allow Ian to rapidly intensify. Right now, max winds at 65 miles per hour, so it's almost a Cat 1 hurricane. Will be coming a Cat 1 hurricane by tomorrow, and it is moving now to the northwest at 13, so it's starting to make that northwest turn. Eventually, it will then go more north. So here's the latest uh, spaghetti plots on Ian. Uh, you can see some of those tracks have shifted a little bit to the east from where we were 24 hours ago. They we're still out of the cone, but of course, the closer it comes to the west coast of Florida, the more impacts we'll feel here on the east coast. So that's why uh, we have to still kind of watch this and see exactly where it goes to know exactly the impacts we will see. So here's the timeline for you. Uh, it's moving to the northwest at 13 on this track by Monday tomorrow at 8 o'clock. 100 mile per hour winds as a Cat 2 hurricane just to the south of the western tip of Cuba. Then it comes out into the Gulf as a Cat 3. So at this point, it's a major hurricane, then briefly strengthens to Cat 4, but then weakens again before uh, perhaps making landfall right there in the Big Bend region. But keep in mind, we have to look at the entire cone, not just the center line. And we're not in the cone, but we are on the very edge. There you can see it comes across Osceola County, uh, portions of Highlands County, and uh, portions of Brevard County as well. So we are definitely going to see some impacts this week. Eventually the storm will weaken to a tropical storm over Georgia. I want to show you the latest warnings and watches. So we do have a hurricane warning in effect for western Cuba. We have tropical storm warnings in effect for the lower keys. So anywhere from the seven mile bridge towards Key West and the dry Tortugas and now a tropical storm watch for portions of Florida's west coast.